Hello and welcome back and uh, in this video we're going to be uh, structuring our code first so that's the first thing before uh, that uh, so I've actually already created um, this uh, project for myself but let me show you how uh, we can create this is nothing actually literally in this project this is uh, this came out of the uh, template and uh, whatever uh, Xcode creates for us so that's what it is but uh, what you can do is you can go to new uh, for yourself uh, new uh, project and uh, then uh, you're gonna select single view app and click next and now make sure you actually give your product name whatever uh, the project name that you want to give whatever the name of the app you want to uh, have basically uh, that you have in your mind uh, make sure you fill in um, organization ID organization identifier this can be your reverse domain name or your email address something unique um, because that's going to become your bundle identifier and uh, this bundle identifier is actually used in the app store to refer your app so it has to be unique which is why reverse domain name or an email address a reverse email address is actually a good idea to have okay then select your uh, language uh, to Swift, user interface to Swift UI, and make sure you have checked core data. Then after that, just click next and finish the wizard. And as soon as you do that, you're gonna get land in the same space where I am right now. Okay, so with that, let's go ahead and organize our code a little bit. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna actually segregate these in different virtual folders. So I'm gonna create new group without folder, okay? And uh, the group is uh, gonna be called utils, first one. Um, then we're gonna create another one, a new group without folder. And this one is gonna be called core data db, okay? And uh, I'm gonna take this birthday app demo and uh, core data file and move it under here, okay? And we're gonna collapse that. That's actually gonna clean up our uh, folder structure uh, within Xcode. Okay, um, next we're gonna create another one called app. So as you notice, like, you know, now this has changed to new group with folder. We don't want that one. We want new group because this is gonna create a virtual uh, folder hierarchy for us. Okay, and app is gonna have uh, basically all these things like app delegates and stuff. So I'm gonna move app delegate, scene delegate, and content view is gonna go inside the views. Um, and uh, assets, launch screen, p list, and preview content. Okay, and let's go ahead and collapse this. And uh, now we're gonna create another group and uh, this group is gonna be called views and this is where we're gonna move our content view okay collapse that and uh, next we have our view models so view models and this is where we're gonna store our view models and after that we're gonna have our group for models okay um, and uh, in our case, uh, models is actually um, not going to be much because, like you know, we're not gonna, gonna we, we our model is gonna be created by Core Data DB. So we really don't need this one, but I'm just gonna keep it in case we need something. Um, and then we're gonna have services. So let's create services. And this is where we're gonna have our core data manager basically the manager that's going to handle all the api transactions with core data okay with that uh let's collapse everything and uh, there we go so this is our architecture this is our app architecture <laughs> like you know oh, oh sorry not the architecture folder structure and uh this is where uh we're gonna organize our code that way like you know we can um collapse and 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 hide unnecessary stuff that we don't need to see okay one more thing i want to do in this is uh i want to actually rename this to from content view to birthday list okay because that's going to be uh the birthday list that we're going to present and uh what we can do is we can right click on this guy and we can go refactor rename and uh, this is going to show us this uh awesome folded code and we can name rename this birthday list like so okay 
with that change uh, we have uh, everything that that was like you know affected well this one didn't change because it's not really referencing it but i want to change it although we're not going to be using uh previews much our uh, reason i don't use previews much uh because uh your computer tends to slow down with previews and uh, while i'm recording and uh, also showing you previews you're gonna hear a lot of fan noise because xcode um for to keep up that live preview in the canvas it actually does a lot of uh, build and compilation on every keystroke whenever you stop uh, like typing something and it has a buildable uh, product then Xcode will try to build it to show you on live preview which is good but uh, you don't want to be hearing like too much of uh, fan noise computer fan noise in the background so that's what I'm trying to avoid uh, like you know not having the previews but feel free to do that like you know for yourself and see if uh, you want to visualize while you're building your UI okay so with that let's go ahead and and give it a run and I'm gonna just hit build so we make sure that everything is running and it's actually creating an empty view for us and um, it's actually launching our first launch is it takes a little bit of time but there you go we have our hello world and uh, let's change it just make sure that this is us um okay hello dev techie and uh, there we go all right cool so yeah so this is it for this video in the next video we're gonna start uh putting together our data manager and uh, some of the helpers and stuff like that uh but we're gonna first before that we're gonna start building our core data model so uh, that that all is coming up in next video so i'll see you guys in next video thank you